Hi there, welcome back. This is Vijay. In this chapter, we are going to see how to cover unit test cases coverage for asset timeout for asynchronous functionalities. Let's jump in. So first, let us create a component named asynchronous ng generate component asynchronous. Yes, we can see the asynchronous component has been created. Let's open it up. Let's write some asynchronous coding. First, let me create a variable. I have a variable named timeout response and the value set it to test. And we'll create a function with the timeout. So here I have the basic set timeout inside a function. And after uh, 1000 milliseconds, this will set the value for the timeout response to set timeout check. So before that it will be test. So now let's see how to test this uh, timeout in just let's save this code. So here inside this spec component. So we will see uh, this test case should set timeout response to this value set timeout check. So we will check this one. So in order to use timers in just we have to use a fake timers and we have to mock them globally across this component. So we will do that. First, let us use a fake timers just dot use fake timers. And we will also mock the value just dot spy on global set timeout. Okay, so we have set timeout in our component that we have mocked it globally across this component. Now let's trigger this method component dot check set timeout. Now here if you trigger this one we will see what the values it shows. So the we'll check expect component dot timeout response dot 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 not to be this value okay so here what happening when we trigger this method it should set the value to uh, set timeout check right but we are saying it as it not to be because whenever we trigger this method, it will not contain the value of uh, this set, set timeout check because it has to wait 1000 milliseconds. Then after that only will call this. So and before that, it will contain the value of test. Let's save this. So at this point, we can also make the just to execute the 1000 milliseconds just dot advance timers by time thousand so this will execute a thousand milliseconds for us then now we will expect this value to be equal to set timeout check we'll remove this not now so we have the two expect conditions here one is before the timers complete and after the timer uh, runs so these are the values we are testing it now and we also can check uh, how many times the test timeout has been run like expect set timeout dot to have been called times one so at this time we have triggered only one times this method so it should call the set timeout only once so for this test case Let's save this. So here instead of using advance or timers by time 1000 millisecond here you know this is the time it has mentioned 1000 milliseconds. So for that you can directly set 1000 milliseconds. But if you are not sure how much time it will take then you can use another option like this one just a dot run all timers. 
so if you use any one of these option it will work okay let us comment this one let us use the advanced times alone let's save it let's run our test cases npm run test colon watch okay all our test cases has got passed we will see the coverage report for this npm run test colon coverage we could see the test report showing 100% unit test cases coverage now let us see that in the chrome browser let's open this index.html in chrome so here we can see the set timeout check has been 100% covered so this component is completely 100% covered